Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about living the life of a performance athlete as a day trader. So guys, the fact of the matter is, is that in order to become a very profitable day trader, in order to reach your objectives, you're going to have to make sacrifices and make changes in your life. So <clears throat> there may be some of you who already live the life of a performance athlete and you're coming into trading and you really should make no changes. But there's going to be some of you that are on the opposite end of that spectrum and you're doing unhealthy things and you're damaging yourself. And so you're going to have a difficult time trading. So guys, what do I mean by living the life of a performance athlete if you want to become a professional day trader? Well, number one, it starts with diet. Guys, the junk food, um, fast food, McDonald's, Sonic, Whataburger, they got to go. They have to go uh, right now, actually. Um, you're going to have to make sacrifices and fast food, junk food has got to be, has got to go. Uh, it's going to damage your cognitive capacity. And guys, you might think that I'm joking or that I'm not serious. I'm very serious. Like you are damaging yourself and you're damaging your ability to, to think when you make unhealthy life choices. So the first thing that's got to go, it's got to be fast food, guys. I'm not saying never eat fast food again, but you've got to really... <clears throat> really restricted if you want to day trade. Number two, um, guys, uh, narcotics, mind altering drugs, they, you've got to start weaning, weaning off of them and then, and then just quitting them altogether because they're damaging your cognitive capacity. Um, I, you know, any, anything that you're smoking, anything that you are ingesting, so prescription pills or narcotics, anything that you smoke or ingest, um, over time, it's damaging you. It is damaging you. I promise you, vaping, uh, grass, Mary, Mary Jane, um, it's all, it's all pot. It's it's all damaging you. I promise you, it is, guys. You think that it's not damaging your brain cells, but I promise you that it is. Um, you won't notice it immediately, like, but you will notice it over time. So if you want to be functioning at a high performance level, mind altering substances have to go. So let's talk about, <clears throat> let's talk about some things that you can do to improve your cognitive capacity over time. Number one, <clears throat> I'll talk about this. I talk about this a lot guys, but you need to stay hydrated. Um, at all times you need to have like a water, have water, have um, Gatorade. This is like 7-Elevens, um, like inner, it's not really an energy drink. It's um, electrolytes, <clears throat> it's got vitamins in it. It's, uh, it's hydration. And then um, in terms of your diet, <clears throat> guys, I would stay with um, light foods. So vegan foods are really good. Uh, um, noodles, soups are good. Uh, I eat some rice. Um, also, uh, fish, I think, with omega-3s and olive oil, um, you need healthy fats. So to think properly, to think really well, you need healthy fats. So olive oil um, is, really, is really a good option there. Um, I would try and stay away from like safflower oils, um, any of your really uh, like vegetable oils. I'd probably try and stay away from those for the most part. Um, let's talk about like poultry so meat chicken these are these are things that you can eat that are that are going to be better for you than a bunch of uh, high processed junk food um yeah so i eat i eat vegan food i eat broth i eat soups i eat uh rice i eat tuna i eat a lot of fish like with omega-3s and um and so i eat a lot of tuna i eat a lot of like i eat these things called kippers which are they're like little mackerel um and, and I eat, yeah, like, like I said, a lot of noodles. Uh, I'm just trying to stay at a high functioning capacity. So I'm always, I'm always hydrated and I'm always trying, I'm trying to eat better things. Because guys, what you eat, what you put into you, it affects you. I promise you that it does. It does a lot. It, the things that you eat over time, they change you. And so you, if you want to be a performance athlete, which is what day trading is, you've got to change your diet to that of a performance athlete and so meats, poultry, fish, 
Um, I eat eggs. Eggs are very high in cholesterol. That's good for, for brain function. Omega threes, um, all all good for brain function. What's like what's the bad stuff for you? Ice cream, pro, uh, highly processed foods, a lot of carbs. Uh, I'm not saying don't eat carbs. I'm saying don't eat too many carbs. Um, you know, fast food, junk food, highly processed food. You know those things are messing with you. Um, in terms of drinks, guys, I drink, like I said, a lot of like Gatorade, electrolytes, water, coffee, and tea. I would stay away from soda. Um, I would stay away from Coke, Coke Zero, uh, things that things that have aspartame, sucralose. <clears throat> they affect your they affect your cognitive capacity. I promise you that they do. You won't notice it until you stop. Until you stop drinking those things, you won't notice how different you are and how much sharper and more clearly you are thinking and how much more calm you are. Until you cha- make the changes, you won't really know what I'm talking about. But then, once you're watching out for it, you'll notice. Um, guys, daily exercise. So I'm not saying that you all need to like turn into Michael Phelps or something, but daily walks, go on the treadmill, weight lift, um, walk a mile a day, walk two miles a day, go swimming. Um, these are all things that are going to help you with your cognitive capacity. Uh, guys, fasting, fasting is good for your cognitive capacity. So going for periods of time without calories, I'm not saying don't drink water, drink water, but like coffee, fasting, water, fasting, fasting is a good option. Cold exposure. I use an ice pack or use ice cubes. I put it on the back of my neck. Um, or I'll take a cold shower. So cold exposure is good for cognitive capacity. It wakes you up. It stimulates you. Um, all the things that, like, guys, before you think about how you're going to replace it, th- these are the things that you need to watch out for in terms of affecting your brain function. Energy drinks. I love Red Bull. I love Monsters. I love energy drinks. But, guys, they mess with you. They're, way- they're not good for your cognitive capacity. I promise you they're not over time. They're detrimental. Energy drinks. Um junk food, highly processed food, ice cream, uh, any anything that, you know, comes out of like McDonald's, Whataburger, whatever, Starbucks, not always Starbucks, Starbucks has some good stuff. Um, that stuff is all really bad for you. Um, a lot of like chips, potato chips. I love potato chips, but yeah, no, like you, you got to be very careful with uh, potato chips, um, highly processed food, ice cream, sugars, uh, sugary drinks, Coke Zero, Diet Cokes, any 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 sodas are really bad for you. They're bad for your cognitive capacity. Um, so I would stay away from that, guys. Foods that you should be eating, vegan foods, fish, meat, um, healthy oils, olive oil, butter, uh, eggs, uh, foods that are high in cholesterol are good for your, can be good for your cognitive capacity. So eat eggs. Um, daily, daily exercise, guys, you're going for walks, um, swimming, cardio, uh, weightlifting, you're doing those things to improve your day trading, ultimately, to improve your cognitive capacity. Um, fasting, we talked about fasting. And guys, sleep and relaxation, meditation, prayer, uh, taking breaks from the screen, so s- sleeping, um, those are those are all important for you. And that's it, guys. Uh, what you eat and your daily exercise and what you choose to avoid, like we're avoiding drugs, avoiding bad foods, um, avoiding unhealthy habits that you know what you're doing that's unhealthy. Like I don't need to tell you. If you're vaping, you're smoking, you're drinking a lot, you know that those things are bad for your brain function. I don't need to be the one to tell you that. You know that. So if you want to day trade professionally, guys, my opinion is that you have to live the life of a performance athlete as much as you can. I'm not saying never have an ice cream or never this or never that, but I'm saying, yeah, I mean, all of those bad things, heavy metals, toxins, they're, they're affecting your brain. They're, they are 100% affecting your cognitive capacity in a negative way. So live the life of a performance athlete and you'll start to see your results. They should improve. Okay, guys, this is, in this video, we discussed unhealthy foods, unhealthy habits, mind-altering substances, um, replacing it with a healthier diet, replacing it with exercise, replacing it with um, good foods, and uh, avoiding, avoiding all, a lot of the bad stuff. And so we're trying to live the life of a performance athlete to improve our cognitive capacity, to improve our day trading. Bye-bye. I'm going to let the runtime of this video go over 10 minutes. Guys, I've got a top step uh, referral link below. Use that top step referral link. Uh, like. I want you to like. I want you to comment, subscribe, um, and live the life of a performance athlete.
拜拜。